The meeting in Vienna, pressures uh, on uh, the Saudis to uh, manipulate the price. Well, yes, the, the members of OPEC uh, are very keen to see some action that will bring prices back up again. There's been great discomfort along, uh, among a lot of OPEC countries about this drop in the Brent crude price to below $100. And that's about $30 off now uh, against the, the March high that we had of $128. So there, there is a lot of discomfort. And uh, one of the main reasons for this, this drop is the big increase in Saudi crude production. They're now pumping over 10 million barrels per day. So the, uh, the other members of OPEC are now really looking to Saudi Arabia to, uh, to cut back its production so that they can all uh, benefit from, from an increase in prices, or at least to, to, uh, to avoid a, a collapse in prices, which is increasingly something that some of the members are worried about. Well, it also looks as if the co a collapse in prices would have nothing to do with production. It would have to do with projected demand. Well, very much. I mean, the, the, the backdrop of this, of course, is, is a very weak international economy. And, uh, you know, sitting here in Europe, the, the situation is, is especially precarious. And the, the economic situation has very much been a, a big part as to what, why the oil prices have come down. And uh, currently here at the moment, the, the immediate focus is on the Greek elections on, uh, at this weekend. Now, the, the, the feeling is that if uh, Greece backs parties which oppose the austerity measures that have been agreed with the EU, that this could lead quite quickly to Greece going out of the euro. And well, nobody really knows what that's going to uh, result in. It, uh, it's, an, it's uncharted territory. But the fear is that it could really send Europe's economy into a downward spiral. And uh, analysts, at, in terms of what that means then for the oil market, is uh, less demand. And analysts uh, at Credit Suisse have uh, predicted that if indeed Europe does enter in, uh, a downward spiral on the back of this sort of Greek situation, we could see oil crude down at around $50 a barrel. In that kind of situation, uh, how fast does uh, the price drop? It can drop incredibly quickly. And you've got to remember what we've seen in the recent past. In 2008, we saw prices hit an all-time high, both in the nominal terms and also in, in, in inflation-adjusted terms, or certainly a high since about 1860. Uh, but uh, and uh, that was that, so that was at eight hundred and forty eight dollars. You know, a few months later, that the price is at thirty five dollars a barrel. So the the ability uh, of the oil price to sort of turn it, it, it is incredibly fast. It, it could so and, and one of the problems is once it it takes a lurch in one direction, it can also be difficult to bring it back in the other direction. So from the point of view of producers, the concern is that if you send the, the if the oil price goes down to around the fifty dollars level, they'll be struggling to bring it back up to seventy five, and uh, you know hopes of over a hundred dollars a barrel could really be relegated for some period of time and uh, of course for most of the OPEC countries or certainly for a large number of them oil is the main method that the government finance finances itself so for them it's a sort of a it's a life or death situation yeah so obviously they have uh, a strong agenda there uh, share a bit of the politics of this uh, like the OPEC gatherings you know in, in most countries the competition authorities would be on these guys like a pack of hyenas uh, <laughs> you know manipulating the price colluding getting together cutting the demand cutting yeah. production in order to uh, manipulate uh, the market and the price uh, but this is uh, all in a day's work for them is it Yes, well, it's the it's the big C word, really. Is is OPEC a cartel? And uh, that's the uh, it, in the past it was obviously described widely as a cartel. They 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 avoided that word or said tried to get that word off the agenda. Uh, it, it is, there is definitely a collusion. That's quite clear. I don't think that anyone at OPEC would disagree about that. And uh, the but in terms of what the the aim of that is, that the, the OPEC would uh, members would take a different view maybe than consuming nations. OPEC says that they work together to make sure that, that crude supplies are consistent and that supply matches demand and that the market is very balanced. Now, 
you know, when consumers are paying four dollars for gasoline in the U.S. or considerably higher levels in in in, in Europe, uh, the the feeling is probably a, 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 a somewhat different. And the feeling is that perhaps the consumer, the producers, are colluding to disadvantage the consumers. So it pretty much depends on where you're sitting. But uh, certainly, there's a lot of cooperation. Mm. So. Uh uh, there are people who believe in technical analysis with this and people who don't, but uh, we had a technical analyst in the other day saying very strongly that $96 is a threshold, and in terms of the technical analysis, if it goes below 96 we could see it go a lot further. It's, you know, technical analysis, I guess, is, is, is one of these tea, tea leaf re reading situations. Um, so I, I couldn't comment on, on, the, on the specifics, but I think it's well established that there are certain levels that are psychologically important to a market. And if a level, like it could be $100 a barrel, for example, if that's broken, well, then people feel that, that maybe a floor doesn't exist. So, that, so certainly there, there is the potential for, for downward moves. And, you know, there, 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 of course, there's another kind of level of pricing that one should also be aware of, and that's the level of uh, oil price that OPEC members need to balance their budgets. And that's something that's very influential to people. So Saudi Arabia at the moment, is in a position where it has everyone looking to it to, to solve this problem, it's for Saudi Arabia to curb its production and lift prices. Now, at the moment, Saudi Arabia doesn't really feel under any pressure. They want an oil price around $100 a barrel. So 97 is is not a particular worry. However, if, if oil starts to go below $90 a barrel, well, then that's going to bite for, for even Saudi Arabia. Uh, while well, it will be very painful for other OPEC members. So the, the question here is, what is the oil price at which Saudi Arabia is comfortable from a budgetary perspective? And it, there's reason to believe that, that Saudi Arabia will act in a way that is consistent with that. So if oil does drop below $90 a barrel, it may be that we see some very dramatic action from Saudi Arabia. That was Tom Bergen from Reuters.